Okay, so this video is to walk you through on setting up your host with cloud access, your subdomain, and just what is needed to get into WordPress. So let's get started. Right here we see WordPress and we see launch a free WordPress site. We're going to click on that and as we look down here, we're going to say uh, launch free website now and we're going to say start now. We're going to click on free and we're going to click on start now and create a free subdomain. So this is everything else is grayed out. This is what we want, but this is really important down here. So you can choose between these uh, domains here. However, this domain nobody can use in the class. And the reason for that is it's considered a spam domain. If you try to enter wpdevcloud.com into Facebook, it'll see it as spam. Your Gmail will see it as spam. I encourage jdevcloud.com com just because I like a dot com but both of these are also fine if you want to do either of these but in setting your domain uh, or your subdomain you can only use one of these three and so I'm going to use this one and I'm going to do geekware and I want to pause also here you are welcome to either set up a website around what you're doing on Teespring, so the audience that you're going after, or if you want to set it up around a business that you're doing, you're welcome to do that as well. Either one is fine. The only thing that I request is that whatever site you set up, that you can sell something off of the website. So we'll click on Next Steps, and I suggest WordPress 4.9, we're going to do default and then here it asks you know what uh, is the purpose and I've already set something up geekware is an e-commerce website that sells all things geek and so I'm going to click on next step and here it's going to say you know add more products which we don't need to we're going to just check out now you're going to be taken to this page and you don't need to put in the company, phone, address and all of that, uh, but you will need to fill out this information here. So I'm going to just pause the video and fill this out and we'll go to the next step. Okay, so I've filled out the form and I click on I agree to their terms of services and complete order. Again, we have free order. You don't need to put in any of this information here. And as soon as it as soon as it goes through, we're going to have to verify it. So I'm going to jump over to my email and I'll be right back. Okay, so I verified my email and it says to click here. Now in past semesters, we've had some students where it took up to 15 minutes before they got the email. Uh, it's not seen to be the case now, but if you don't get the verification email right away, just wait a little bit. If you wait longer than an hour, I would check your spam. It almost always comes through, but definitely let me know if you run into any issues. But really, you just need to be patient and it'll, it'll happen. Okay, so now we are at the login process and you set this up when you filled out the form a few screens before. So I'm going to enter in my email, my password, and then log in. Okay, now you're taken to what Cloud Access calls their cloud control panel. This isn't something that you normally see with another host. This is particular to cloud access, but it's what we're using so it helps to become familiar with it. Really the only things that you're going to care about, you can see here that they've set up my account, I'm on free WordPress. Now for them, in order for you to keep this site, 
you have to renew it every 30 days. And when you click this button to renew it, it'll say, hey, why not just upgrade? And you'll just click renew again, and it will start the 30 days back over. Okay? Uh, no need to upgrade, it, no need to terminate. The other two things that you're looking at here, manage is what helps you with cloud access and what they have. You won't ever really use this. Login is logging into your WordPress uh, admin panel. And so we'll click on that here. What you're looking at here is your actual WordPress site and your cloud access is going to take you from here and build out a website. There's a couple more things that you need to do. Uh, these are quick and easy and so I will do that in the next video as uh, we go through the WordPress dashboard and really we're looking at design and we're looking at just how you want to lay out your URL structure. So those will be the two things that we discuss in the next video.